time of the year again. Samsung's about to grace us with One UI 7, which is going to come out in beta early August and is going to be based on Android 15, which is also in beta on a couple Pixel devices currently. Of course, not all of you would be able to install this beta. I actually think it might be restricted to just the S24 or probably S24 and S23 series. Yeah and that's just about it just for the beta though this table is going to be available on a couple samsung devices yeah the s24 s24 plus and s24 ultra the s23 22 and 21 series also along with their other corresponding models yeah it's quite shocking that the s21 is going to receive one ui7 yeah i think that makes four years of updates yeah that is crazy and that is unexpected i know they promised three years but four years Essence 1 is becoming more of an iPhone XR lately. Also, on the Galaxy Z Fold and Z Flips, we would get the updates on the 3, 4, 5. Yeah, that's for the Fold and Flips. Yeah, that's basically about it. And also, we also get a couple of devices. A55, 54, 53, 52, 34, 33, 24. We even have the Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra. Yeah, I almost forgot those existed, but apparently they'll be getting One UI 7 when it comes out as a stable release. We have the Galaxy Tabs also, the Tab S9, S9 Plus, and S9 Ultra, along with the Tab S8 series, as well as the Plus and Ultra. Now, let's talk about the features. We have redesigned app icons, yeah. I currently think it's not really that important, yeah. To me, I'm more concerned about the content of the app, not just the icon, yeah. The icon makes no difference. In my opinion, though, Samsung shouldn't reside the icons, yeah, because sometimes it causes confusion about the image of the OS. You know how Apple hardly changes the icons, though? Even if they change the content or they add a new feature, they leave the app icon as it was, yeah. They barely change it. That actually helps for easy recognition, yeah. That's why when you pick up an Apple device, you can tell instantly that this is ios yeah you just know so i'll advise samsung if i could reach them to stop changing app icons it's literally a waste of time just design it once make the app what sits inside it's all about the content not just the cover the funny thing is that some icons have actually been redesigned for worse like how do you explain the transition from this to this some of you might actually prefer the new one, but I prefer the older one. Yeah, it looks more polished and more perfected to me. Tell me your preference in the comment section. The new ones look kind of generic. Yeah, it looks like you just picked up a kind of custom ROM. Yeah, stuff like that. I don't know, when I look back at a couple Samsung devices, yeah, it just looks like they keep going backwards in terms of app icon updates. Like, look at this, the good old days, perfection. Also, we will get dark icons just like we would on iOS 18. Yeah, no biggie though. I know they kind of copied, but actually, I'll allow that. Yeah, dark icons are just much more pleasing to the eyes than light icons. You'd agree with me? Something else coming to One UI 7 is something called redesigned live activities. Yeah, it's meant to imitate Dynamic Island, but kind of same but different, but still same. Okay, this one stays in the status bar as one corner along with the other notification icons and it just shows the status of the app that's currently using it unlike Apple's phone that comes from the middle yeah so it's quite distinctive I like how Samsung actually implemented it in their own way yeah it's loving kind of weird and kind of shady if they actually just copied it straight up yeah I know some Galaxy teams actually have a dynamic island yeah but they're all third party teams made by a couple Galaxy fans yeah not seen tied to samsung themselves yeah so my major issue here is that would third party apps support the live activities icon on the status bar question mark yeah because on ios it's very easy you know apple owns the software so app developers just use whatever xcode or react native whatever they use they can easily just implement dynamic island functions and make it responsive that's why when you have like a goal or a shopping app or a food delivery app or an uber you can easily get your status in real time the island yeah unlike you know probably it will just be like system app support on samsung yeah i don't really see you know app developers specifically customizing apps for samsung yeah samsung is based off android so android does google has to actually implement 
live activities for it to actually correspond between you know third party apps and widgets itself anyways what do i know that's just simply one advantage you know apple has with the ios over samsung's one ui the biggest of this to me would be the improved animations yeah I would always describe Samsung's current animation and how they have always been as smooth but not fluid. Unlike how fluid Apple animations on iOS actually are. Yeah, when you look at a Samsung animation, it's not reversible. It just has a way it just goes up and down. Like it's not like it's not rubbery, it's not stretchy. You get I don't know how to put this though, but you know, fluid means like when I obstruct the fluid it moves in a particular way when i take off my finger it reverses back to how it was reverses not just transforms i think you get what i'm trying to say so samsung claimed they would give us animations that would even rival what we have on ios that's a very bold statement but for them to say that i think they must have done some pretty good homework behind the scenes yeah so something came out a couple days on x or twitter as we call it yeah and this is how the animations used to look on yui 6 and now this is what we have on yui 7 yeah crazy look at that finally i might even have some incentives to finally own a galaxy device and pray with my iphone but we'll see for the fourth future we expect a vertical app drawer yeah that's for easier navigation to me it's just copying ios again because apple also has that on the iphones yeah but like i always say if it helps the end users like us copy away the fifth one is quite ridiculous and my least favorite imagine them redesigning the battery icon from the masterpiece it was or is on one ui 6 to some rounded funny looking but i call it an oval or a square cool on one ui 7 yeah it just looks weird and i used to use that one ui 6 battery icon to easily tell when i say galaxy device like through a screenshot or something but now it's just going to look like some xiaomi on or iphone wanna be yeah i don't know why samsung does that like i said before if it ain't broke do not fix it it's quite round though yeah almost as round as my subscribe button you can click on it just to like you know feel the roundness yeah since everyone is feeling kind of round this evening we also expect some kind of redesign in the camera app yeah i can't really say much about that because i haven't really gotten any insights or any closer look at that but we'll find out soon enough yeah we expect the first beta in early august yeah this is the Charlie early august so we should see that before the week runs out you know samsung has claimed this will be their biggest update one ui 7 just like apple also claimed with ios 18 <laughs> this should be an interesting year in tech